Yo, what's going on guys? It's EW400 here, and I'm bringing you guys some Call of Duty 4 gameplay. I know you guys haven't seen a video from me in a while. A lot of you might not even know me because I think the last time I uploaded a video, we didn't even have a thousand subscribers, but now we're at 1K subscribers, and I really want to say thanks to everybody. Uh, if you don't know, the subscribers do make the channel, so... And most definitely thanks to the viewers, yo. You guys, you guys are there. You support everybody on the channel, and that's a that's a big thanks that I want to give out personally. But um, let me get to the the meat of this conversation, and that is what I'm looking forward to and what I'm not looking forward to in Modern Warfare 3, because a lot of people been seeing seeing a lot of new videos coming out about things on Modern Warfare 3, and uh. Some things that I'm looking forward to in the Modern Warfare 3 when it comes out is the whole prestige token thing. I don't, I'm kind of iffy about it, but I like how you get the double XP and you get to pick what you want to do when you prestige. I just think that it's kind of like too many options. Like now, I think, you know, at first you were kind of limited to doing things, but now it's more like you have so many options to do so many different things that it's going to just start to become confusing what am i doing right there i don't know but yeah it's going to start becoming confusing and people aren't going to know what what to use or what to pick or have some claymore oh my god what the heck but yeah people are going to you know start to to not knowing what to use and all that type of junk but yeah i'm looking forward to that uh that uh double xp on the weapons i hear you get it for like two hours or two days can't remember exactly what Robert Bowen said but I think it's two hours two piece yeah I'm looking forward to that another thing I'm looking forward well one thing I'm not looking forward to is that uh that uh reset your stats it sounded good at first but when you think about it if something was to happen to your account or somebody else was to get hold of your account and click that reset all stats button it will mess your mess up everything you had if you didn't want to have prestige or lose all of your stats and stuff like that. So I don't know what kind of security thing they have with that. You know, maybe they're gonna put a password or some quick jazz on it. Hopefully they do. Oh yeah, and in this video, I think uh, the kill death of the game is 33 and 10. Hope you guys enjoy it. I didn't want to bring you guys any more Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops or any of those other CODs or stuff like that because it's a lot of that going up on the channel. So I was like, I'll bring back some throwback style stuff and see what you guys like. Another thing that I'm not really looking forward to when Call of Duty comes out is all of the perks and kill streaks. There's tons of perks and tons of kill streaks. And one that I'm really iffy about is the one where you get two kills and you get a perk every time you get a kill. I'm not really sure how that... Ooh, sit down. I'm not really sure how that will go in the long run because it seems like it's making your character a little bit too powerful. Once he gets like eight kills, he has all the perks in the game, which might over time become a little bit too powerful if you think about it. Eight kills isn't really that hard to get. So I don't know how they, how are you going to be able to even that out. And another thing I'm kind of iffy about is the whole your kill streaks not resetting when you die type thing. I think that, oh, someone's calling me. Like, yeah, I think that uh, that might cause a little bit of problems because if you die, I think your kill streaks should be reset. I mean, yeah, because, like, imagine you having, uh, Two, three kills having a UAV, and the next thing you know, you die, and you still be able to get that whatever else you need predator missile or stuff like that. I think you should have to work all the way over for it. You know, oh, why did I hit that green? I did that like two or three times. Finger slipping, PlayStation 3. Yeah, but that's another thing that I'm kind of iffy about. What I am looking forward to is all of the new guns and the new maps and everything else they have on there because. Those maps look like they are built for, you know, fast game. What? I hit it again. But yeah, them, the maps look like they're 
more fast pace. I don't like Battlefield too much because of the big map. So hopefully that's something good to look forward to with those new maps, guns, and and I kind of like some of the kill streaks and the death streaks. I'm not really gonna like either. Mainly, I'm not gonna like the death streaks because I think one of the death streaks was like suicide bomb or something. Or, like, somebody kills you four times and the last person who kills you show up on your map. Stuff like that. I don't know if I'm going to really be looking forward to it, but I know I will be getting that Modern Warfare 3 on a release date. If you guys think I'm doubting it or anything, I'm not doubting the game. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm like, just so excited waiting for it to come out. I don't really know what to do. It's just, I don't know how these things will turn out in the long run because as you know people pick and choose how they want to play Call of Duty like not a lot of people want to play Call of Duty like it's meant to be played so this stuff will turn out you know pretty crazy in the long run so I hope you guys enjoy my gameplay enjoy my little rant I had about my iffies and <laughs> what were you doing sitting behind a couch I hope you guys really enjoyed this gameplay Please uh, drop a like, maybe even drop a favorite, and uh, come check out my channel. Peace out, TGN. I'll holler at you guys later.